Hello, and welcome back to Thrifting Retro Feels. I found some old footage, in fact this is pre-pandemic, of me thrifting back before all of this mess started. So today, or this day, almost more than two years ago, I'm starting off in one of my favorite stores, Savers. And look what I find here, an old record player. Look at these dials, look at the size of this thing and the feel of it. It is so retro. Of course, I knew nobody who had one of these. Now on to the board games. I find this, of course, Ouija, or Ouija, I believe, or that was just the brand name, but it's from Parker Brothers. And now a classic box of Uno. You know how they look now in those small, colorful sleeves? Well, this is what it looked like back in my days, kids. And of course, you can find a Trivial Pursuit everywhere you go. Every thrifting store has loads of them. And while scanning the books, look what I found. My favorite thing to collect. Choose your own adventures. I found Lost in the Amazon track of the bear and the abominable snowman. I've wanted these so bad. And as a bonus, I found this, a Nintendo. Its own version of Choose Your Own Adventure with Mario Brothers. What a lucky find. I still haven't read this, but man, I'm happy I found them. Yes, I did pick them up. Awesome find. Now on to the video games. There wasn't much, just a lot of sports. I did find, however, Ultima Online. I wished that I had picked this up for my brother. He was so addicted to this game. He played it for hours and absolutely loved this game. We Play, you can find these at every thrifting store. I don't know how many people had this, but there is an abundance of them at every thrifting store you go to. And check out this creepy little doll. What is up with this thing? It's just half a body and these old ghostly clothes. And look at this bowl. I love this. Made out of all wood. I would just love to pour a bunch of chips right in there. However, it's in a thrift store. Who knows what was in that bowl. And do you remember these? People used to love bragging about having a wine or an alcohol mix, calculator, whatever you call these things. They bring it with them to the bar just so the bartender can see what kind of drink they want. And again, thrifting store, toy, toilets or toilet toys, whatever you want to call them. Why would somebody return this or bring it and donate it? I don't know. VTech, oh man, they tried so hard to make kids feel like they had something more than what they really did have. Uh, you know, little learning devices and uh, made to make a kid feel like they have their own console they can plug into their TV. And, you know, hubcaps or whatever, you know, I don't know, why would you donate this? Just one. Who needs just one? And then here's a good sack of balls. Yes, I did pick them up. I can't help it. I love to play baseball and having something I can toss around and not mind losing. Why not? And look at this old 90s PC speakers. Look at this day glow orange green kind of color. I don't know what color that is, but wow, Radio Shack. I miss them. And what is this? It's like some kind of an organ, but with only part of the keyboard. <laughs> I don't know, but wow, is it big, bulky, and just looks like something you'd find in a grandma's attic. Something she picked up, tried to learn, and just never got back to it again. But it sat around in the attic for you to play with when you snuck in there. And this, I wish I picked it up because now I love these plug-and-play retro consoles. I have lots of the uh, joysticks with Pac-Man and Galaxian and stuff. I wish I had gotten this one, though. I miss my old Atari 2600. And uh, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, a double pack of steroids right here. Too bad. And now on to Goodwill. Not far from where I live, 
but I never visit here, and the first thing I find is Crash Bandicoot PlayStation 2 mixed in with the board games. That's a little awkward. And of course, we all need a little exercise for, you know, that. And look at this awesome tape recorder. Wow. I mean, look at it. Black, orange, plastic everywhere. It is just a beautiful piece of hardware. I used to love these things when I was a kid. Me and my brother used to pretend that we were radio show talk host. Look at this little counter too. The spinning counter to show the time that you were recording or playing or whatever. I mean, this thing is just awesome. I love these big buttons and the slide out handle. It's just absolutely awesome. Now look at this, Windows XP. Still in the wrap, I believe. Uh, wow, I mean, I wish I could have an old computer. I'd like to collect them and get some of this old software. Lotus Word Pro 1996. I mean, it's in great condition. I would love to have this and be able to play around with this old software all over again. And this, Heroes of the Might and Magic 2 that I found in with the music CDs. Look at the condition of this box, it's great. Besides the tape on the edge, it's great condition. And Tomb Raider, PC version, special edition in a jewel case mixed in with the music. I mean, you can find this everywhere now, but it was just nice to see this again. And Quake 2 in a jewel case, believe it or not, that was the way I had my old version. And Frogger, a remake, Frogger's 2. Always lousy, crappy software. Then I found this for the Xbox, Halo 2, and I still have it. Yes, I picked it up, and I lost it. PlayStation, uh, Game Day Football. Look at this retro box. I miss these boxes. Now on to savers on the Berlin Turnpike. I love this store. I usually find most of my things here. And on to the books, there wasn't much to look at. Look at this old toaster oven it's you know you donate something you know it have the courtesy to clean it up I mean no it's just gross and these projectors we used to have in my school we had bigger ones this one's kind of newer compared to what I'm used to but it's nice to see these again and this is a reel-to-reel -reel player look at the lever on it to uh, control the speed and look it still has the film in it I hope somebody picked it up and, you know, found some use of this old footage, whatever's on there. Hope it wasn't anything too bad. Wow, I love these old VHS players with the little dials so that way you can tune into every single channel. You know, it gets a little fuzzy. You play with the dial and the channel will come in crystal clear. These big, thick, clickety buttons. I just love that. Family Feud Game Board. Wow, I had no idea that it came in a box, you know, as a board game. Look at this retro art on the front. It's just awesome. It feels like I'm 10 again. And Mad Cats, they tried so hard to make all the accessories for your game consoles. They did a pretty decent job from what I remember with steering wheels and stuff like that. Now the Goodwill on the Berlin Turnpike. Of course, you find these everywhere, too. Yeah, sadly. Great game, but, you know, with the new 3D uh, versions of Sims 3 and Sims 4, these are hard to really play these days. Although, they do bring back lots of memories. And, of course, the expansion packs. Sims, that's what they're known for. That's how they made their money. And look at this. A Sega Dreamcast in the box. Opened, but it's a Sega Dreamcast. And... I wish I had the money on me that day to pick this up because I did love the Sega Dreamcast very much. There wasn't much to pick from, but then again, you can't really pick from it when it's behind glass, but there's Loaded for the PlayStation. I love that game. Here is Mitch Miller. I loved his Christmas music. I used to sing to it when I was a child. And Bumblebee. Oh God, this used to bombard our TV stations with its ads all the time. There is the Flowbee. You would just 
stick this to your vacuum cleaner and I guess the suction from the vacuum cleaner would rotate the blades inside and it would suck up your hair to a certain length and cut it from whatever that seemed a little weird but now time for a break before I go on to my next one two Arby's and my favorite beef and cheddar love this I love these sandwiches so much and their curly fries with cheddar awesome oh my god wow I am so fat so bad awesome 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 now to the Goodwill, closer to my location, on Washington Street in Middletown. This is not a bad store. I usually don't find much here, but look, here's a word processor, the XL2000. It's in great condition, still has its stickers on it. I am a smart typewriter, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, and picking up this old phone. God, just I just love looking at these old phones and the old sounds they made. And you always find these phone cases just everywhere. What are you going to do with them? You need to know what phone you have and you have to squeeze it in and try it on. And then, of course, this old Nokia. Wow. I'd like to collect these someday. But that one was missing a lot of pieces. So, that was all. Welcome back to Thrifting Retro Feels. I hope you enjoyed your episode. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care and stay safe out there, everybody. Bye.